One of the most beautiful themes in the Old Testament is the chosen identity of the people of Israel. Beginning in Genesis 12, Yahweh names this identity to Abraham and to his descendants that will follow them throughout the biblical narrative. God chooses Abraham and chooses his people. He sets them apart. He says that they will be a great people, that he will bless them. But God doesn't choose Israel for Israel's sake. He chooses Israel for the sake of the world. And this theme is at the heart of our spiritual discipline for this week, generosity. Yahweh tells Abraham, the world will be blessed through you. Israel was chosen for the world's sake. And Psalm 67, 1 through 3 and verse 7 sums this up really well. May God be gracious to us and bless us and make his face shine on us so that your ways may be known on earth, your salvation among all nations. May the people praise you, God. May all the peoples praise you. May God bless us still so that the ends of the earth will fear him. Israel is a so that people not chosen because of anything that they had done. They were blessed so that the world might be blessed. Chosen so that the world might know God. And we are a so that people too. Not chosen because of anything that we've done. Not chosen because of how great we are, but we are chosen despite our insignificance and imperfections. Chosen so that the world might see and experience the grace and love of God through us. We are a vessel of the goodness and kindness of God to the world. Chosen for the sake of one another, for the sake of our families, our co-workers, our neighbors, the city of Huntsville. We're chosen so that the world might be blessed. And this is what generosity is all about because of God's spirit that indwells us and out of an overflow of the love that has been freely given to us, we're generous. We bless those we meet along the way and we do so intentionally. John reminds us that we love because he has first loved us. And it only makes sense for us to lean into this discipline during the week of Easter Sunday as we remember the gift of life we receive through the death and resurrection of Jesus. Because of our God's unfathomable generosity, we are generous. We love and we give and we bless and we share out of an overflow of the greatest gift that has ever been given, Jesus. So here's an initial question to start uh, your class discussion. Share about a time when someone was generous with you. What made that experience of generosity meaningful to you?